Hello everyone. Welcome to another haul video and I know it's been a while, a long time since I've posted anything but as you know I'm a teacher and I have been super 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 busy with remote learning and I just have not had time. I haven't had time to craft. Saturdays are like my craft mental health days but I just don't have time to edit you know, all the videos. So I apologize. I'm sorry. I know a couple of you have reached out to me, you know, just wondering if I'm still around. And I thank you so much. That is so kind. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm around. I'm just really been really, you know, just virtual teaching has been consuming my, um, my time a lot more than usual. Um, you know, when we're in person, so that's pretty much why I've been absent, but um, you can always check out my Instagram when I do make things, I post it on there. But I just want to thank you, those of you that have emailed me and just been wondering if I'm still around. That's so super sweet. So now uh, I do want to share some things that I've gotten recently and kind of new finds and things like that. So we're going to start off with Lawn Fawn. So Lawn Fun just had their release and um, they had this virtual, this one's called Virtual Friends. So it's the whole play on, you know, Zoom, Zoom meetings and teaching and learning. So of course, you know, might as well call this the Carly said, because <laughs> I think as a teacher who has been doing this every single day for the past year, um, you know, I think I was like, um, kind of required to purchase this set so I thought it was absolutely adorable and cute um even after all this crazy times you know maybe I won't use the zoom but I will still use everything else so it's super cute so it has all these images of you know the little zoom windows and some um cute little sentiments as well I actually really like that loading um although that kind of gives me nightmares too from you know well anyway <laughs> I also purchased the coordinating dies to go with that and to pair up with that um, I also got the reveal wheel templates um, and it comes with the two reveal wheel um, cutouts so you can cut out the computer so that the you can turn it into a reveal wheel so I got those and then it came with the little a template so you can mask when you're stamping into the little squares so I got those and to go along with that I also got the pop-up desk and I loved this this was like my name all over it and I love the little laptop I thought that was the superest superest cutest <laughs> thing so um I love that little desk and then that laptop oh loved it had my name on it, sold. And to go along with that, um, I also went with the Tiny Friends. Um, because while I think, yeah, the little critters are cute and adorable in here, I'm probably going to use the little people more often than not. And for other things as well, because I don't have a whole lot of little people stamps. So these were super cute. I love all the different hair types. So you can make them any kind of anyone and then of course the dog and the kitty I thought was a really sweet addition and I did pick up the coordinating dies because um oh nobody's got time to cut out these little ones by hand so this one was if I was going to get only one coordinating die it was definitely going to be for this tiny friends next um I also picked up the scripty bubble sentiments I thought these were really cute and even though they're supposed to be like bubbles it didn't look like it at all to me I'm not going to be probably using them that way so but it does have some little bubbles and little bubble wand um, so there's a happy thanks hugs love and smile um, and I thought these were really fun um, I like that open um, areas to color or um, anything like that and then I did pick up the coordinating dies for those um, I also picked up the uh, build a house spring add-on um, oh my goodness this was so so cute I love that little bird bath I think that's the reason why 
um, I got this. It's just so darling. I like the little fence, the little shovel. Um, it goes along with the build a house set, which I had already bought like a while ago. And as you can see, I haven't even used it yet. So I intended to use it for Christmas and I just didn't get a chance to. But hopefully now that I have this set, it'll kind of encourage me to break it out because it's so cute. So hopefully you will see this in the future. Um, all right. So the free with 60 was this cute little stamp set. Um, so I did get that as the free with 60. Um, and now the free with 60, the previous time I believe with, was this stamp set that is called Long Distance Hugs. And they released the coordinating dies this time to go with it, which um, I was happy to have because this happens to be a stamp, a little stamp set that I use a ton. So to have the coordinating dies is awesome. I'm so happy about that. That was a nice surprise. All right, so that was pretty much my Lawn Fawn haul. Now, next I'll share my um, MFT haul. Now, MFT just had a big sale, and so their stamps and dies were at least 50%. Like, that was the minimum. So I did pick up a few things, so I'll share those with you. So um, this is the Big Birthday Wishes stamp set. And um, I loved this stamp set. Actually, I don't know if this was from their new release or not, but what I love about this stamp set is the fact that it has happy birthday in different ways. So you have the happy birthday in a super cute scripty font, and then you have happy birthday in a block font, like is one stamp, and then you have happy and birthday separate. So I actually really, really like that because birthday cards are the kind of cards I make the most and happy birthday is a sentiment I use a lot. So it's nice to have those different options. And then I also like the other sentiments. They're just, you know, sentiments that you can use all the time. Celebrate, wishing you the best today and always, sealed with a wish, a big birthday wish, sending you love on your birthday. So to me, this is a kind of stamp set that is timeless it is classic this is not going to go out of style anytime at all, at all like I can use this stamp set a year from now 10 years from now 20 years from now you know it's something that it's not going to leave my stash this is not one I would de-stash because I know I will use this a lot so I'm happy to have it in my collection um next I purchased the favorite teacher so again this was like, I don't know, three or four dollars. It was like really cheap. Um, so I liked, oh, of course, you know, I am a teacher. I have to buy all the teacher things. And so I like this little um, male teacher. Really cute. And they have some cute cinnamons and some other cute little accessories. And I did pick up the matching dies because, again, this was all like at least 50% off. And I didn't have the girl teachers, so I picked her up as well. And uh, between the two of them, just absolutely adorable. And I love all the little sentiments. And then I did pick up the coordinating dies with that one as well. Um, the next item, oh my goodness. I, I don't even know when this came out. And I, I like really don't even know what I was doing at the time. Um, but this is so gorgeous. I love succulents. My classroom is kind of a succulent theme. So to see this stamp set, I was just like, oh my goodness. So it has succulents in the bouquet along with roses, which is another of my absolute favorite florals. And then something that kind of looks like a poppy. Um, such a gorgeous arrangement there. And then you have the individual elements. So I'm so going to have fun watercoloring this. Um, and then I did pick up the coordinating dies because, again, this was pretty um, reasonable. It was very affordable. Um, and then I also picked up this set, and this is the Lily Dynamics. So when you put this together, it makes lilies. And um, I was actually looking for something like this um, because I wanted to use it. I picked up this Cross Flip It die from Stamps of Life. 
Um, so this is what it looks like. So it's one of those cards that when you, you know it's closed and you open it, it flips open. And so I wanted to use this for Easter coming up with uh, my friends who um, celebrate Easter. And so I wanted to pair up this with some lilies on it. And so when I, as soon as I saw this um, and it was on clearance or sale, I was like, oh yes, add to cart um, because I already had this in mind. And so that was perfect. So that is the Lily Dynamics. So happy to have that. And then this was the free with 60, I think it is. Um, and it's the... Uh, message in a bottle die so you cut this out and put like a little strip of paper or something in there like a message in a bottle I thought that was cute and since I got that I picked up the bottle pouches to make little shaker maybe put some little sand seashells that would be really cute um, and these are also in clearance um, so I got those as well and that was my haul for MFT all right so next um, so let me tell you, I saw these dies on HSN and this is a company I've never heard of, no idea. I haven't even really seen anybody make videos with their products. So I was a little hesitant, but I thought their dies were stunning. So I purchased, um, this set called window slim dies guard. So what it comes with, let me show you what it comes with. So first of all, you get the um, sheet that gives you, you know, what you get basically and how you can put things together. That's nice. And I love the fact that it's in color. That's very helpful. So it came with three dies. And what you're supposed to do, the intention is for you to create a slim slim line card base and then use one at the top and one at the bottom and then add a sentiment in the middle and bam you're done right and i thought oh yeah that's great and the dies are beautiful but how is the quality right i'm not sure because the price was like amazing it was like 20 three dollars or something so you get the dies and you got these stamps that were huge so so pretty so you have this one with these are like huge big um, sentiments so you have all kinds love hello I love the scripty and I love when companies pair up scripty with like regular fonts like block fonts I like that one too everything will be okay so you got this two stamp sets and these as you can see are like huge and you got these three dies big dies and you also got um, some more little sentiment dies now I put these in with my other sentiment dies but you get you their friend the best awesome so well, let me tell you I die cut these just to see the quality and I was so impressed. I really was like, wow, these cut out beautifully. Let me show you. Um, so I just kind of grabbed some scratch cardstock, some scratch paper. And as you can see here, um, look how intricate and beautiful these are. These are stunning. And they cut out like butter, just beautifully. Um, I did run them through my regular um, Big Shot and they cut just like any other die that I own does. Um, and then I also run it through with the Chrome pre pre Precision Plate. Can't say that. The Chrome Precision Plate. And it was like butter. I mean, just boop, everything just fell right out. But it cut out so lovely. And these are just gorgeous. They're so detailed i love these so since i was so impressed with the price with the quality of the dies and how beautiful the stamps were that <clears throat> i went ahead and i wanted to order some more things um so when i ordered this just to kind of try it out i also ordered these the floral background dies so these are 
A2 size. Let me see if I can take these out. So these are A2 size. So this fits the a perfect, you know, A2 front. Um, and you can do all kinds of things with this. So let me show you with the little insert that they give you. Um, so here it tell it shows you kind of like what you know once you die cut it what you have so you can use them this way you know any orientation really you can have the orientation like this or like this or like this or like this you know anyway so beautiful and it also came with all these word dies so missing you dear friend just because big hugs love you thank you sweet friend so all again like so absolutely affordable that I just was like wow how are you they even making any money <laughs> off of this but it's not you know I don't even want to ask any more of that I just was so impressed so after getting these two and absolutely loving these I was like oh yes um when is the next diamond press show <laughs> because I want to see what else they do um, and by the way, um, I don't know if these things are available because you know how HSN, once it's sold out, sometimes they don't bring things back. Sometimes they do, but I will put the item numbers in the description below. Um, so hopefully they might be available or they might become available at some time if you're interested. Now, none of these are going to be affiliate links. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just sharing what I've got. And I know that if there's something that I would like, I would like to see if it's available. And that's the only reason why I'm mentioning that. All right. So based upon these two things that I bought, I went ahead and bought some more. Last time HSN had their sale. So some of these I bought on HSN and then some I went and bought on the Diamond Press website so um this first one is the diamond press exploding box um now explosion boxes are things i've been making for years they're not hard to do at all no i didn't need a die because it's actually very easy but what i did like is just absolutely how every how they just thought this out so well this was such a well thought out die that again was so reasonably reasonably priced um affordable that i was like yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get it um so again they walk you through step by step uh with color pictures of how to assemble it um and let me show you um here so, you know, they walk you through the steps. I also like that with this one, it comes with a card, like a gift card base that you can insert at the base of your box. And I thought that was super cute. Um, and then it comes with more dies to embellish. It comes with stamps to create little journaling cards or inserts for pockets. It comes with sentiments. Again, so well thought of and I just loved it. So let me show you the stamps. And <clears throat> so again, here are the dies that create the box and then some of the embellishment dies. Let me see if I have a paper. Okay, so here you can see how adorable these stamps are. So you have different occasions right for different things so hooray congrats get well soon just because confetti you got a balloons a little onesie a cake and then these are like the things for the journaling card if you're going to write you know little um sentiments or some kind of written wishes and then you have engagement um rings um the diploma the mortar board some florals and little icons and then more sentiments happy birthday i love that so cute let's celebrate thinking of you thank you so i just this so much that you get here um so i love this so i got this one um there i am anxious in as well so we'll see if i get to make something with that one soon now this one I bought on Diamond Press. Um, this one is called the Diamond Press Marker Alpha Dies, and I just loved this font. It's so cute. It comes with all the letters as well as all the numbers. 
and some um, special ones like the ampersand, uh, question mark, exclamation mark, little heart. And this, again, it was on sale, so it was like under $20, I believe, if I recall. Super cute. And the font is actually the same font, now that I'm looking at it. Um, it's the same font that they used in their stamp set. So if you, like, look at this one, how it has the little um, line at the bottom toward the bottom of the letters so and i love this i think it's so cute and so whimsy so here's like the way celebrate is and birthday so this type of font is what this one is which i didn't know at the time i just thought it was cute um so i'm so happy because i love it and the other thing that i bought um this was on the diamond press was this one's called layer layered cactus so let me show you what this one came with so you got two big stamp sets that i'll show you in a minute then uh -oh, then you get all the dies so you get let me let me show you it this way first right so you get and I love, like I said, I have like a cactus even in my classroom, so I love anything cactus. So you get three different pots. You get little um, faces if you want to stamp them on there. You get three different types of decorative elements to put in your little pots. Um, and then you have the three types of cactus. So you have, I think this is called a barrel cactus. So you get two dies. The first die is kind of the base. And then you have the layer die for, um, you know, the detail. So the detail layer. So when you put this and this together, then you get something like this. And then you get the little flower, like little flowery part. And then same thing here. So you have the base layer and then the detail layer on top. And you can see the little, the little spines there. Um, and then you have the saguaro and the base and then the detail layer i mean so cute so easy too and then you do get three um word dies you get a hello a howdy and a sharp then you can match up with the sentiments that are also included like hello howdy you're stuck with me looking sharp i think you're a fan cactus <laughs> that's cute and then you get more you get some of these um not florals but like leaves that you can add to those same pots in the front and then like match them up with this like macrame I think that's what it's what it's called and like make hang these hanging planners and that are so adorable so cute I love that so this is such a cute set and I think what I like about this is that you can have something really cute and whimsy or something more elegant and you know Oh, love it. So I was so super drawn to this. And so here, all the dyes. And I, I don't know, I like that they're black. I think they're so sleek looking. But as you can see, you have the base layer and then the layer that gives those details for those. The word dyes, that little macrame. So cute. So the stamps, another thing I like is that they're in color so you can see it really well and so here are the stamps and the sentiments um so you can either use the stamp and die cut it out with the base layer or just use them as straight die cuts which i think is a really fun option so here's the sentiment i think you're fine cactus <laughs> i think that is so cute and then you have a big old happy birthday that's nice and long that would be great for like a swim line card too so I bought that also, and um, this one, I, yes, I bought on the um, on the Diamond Press website. Actually, I think I bought all of these on the Diamond Press website so far um, because they had a like a like a special little sale. So I bought these there. Um, but again, I will try to link as much as as I can if you're interested um and the last one i know it's so much um is this one i bought on hsn so this was the only thing that i bought on hsn actually 
Um, but oh my word, this is so gorgeous. So you get three dies. So you get the the base die that has these cute little scallops, and then you get two inserts. So you get this floral insert. So when you put this in the middle and die cut it out, this is what you get. And then the other one works the same way. So when you put this insert inside, then you get this. And so you also get um, other dies like sending hugs, smile, um, sweet friend, here for you. And I'm here for this, like 100%. So let me show you because I was like, oh, what do these look like? So here's that base die that you can just use this, cut out your base, or you can drop in that insert and then cut it out in one piece. Um, so there's that, and then there is that second insert, and then it comes with those other word dies. And so when I cut these out just to see what they look like, oh my goodness, so, so beautiful. So let me see if I can find some paper so that um, I can show you a little bit better. Um, yes. Okay, so look at how beautiful. Super intricate. I mean, this one, I didn't even mess with <laughs> just using it through the regular die cut machine. I went straight for the chrome precision base plate because I just, you know, was like, there's... It needs it because this is so intricate. Um, and it cut out like butter. Absolutely beautiful. So this is the insert, right, just by itself. And then this was the insert, the second insert with the um, that base outside. Um, and again, how beautiful. I mean, like this you easily could be used as a stencil, right? But I love this. So Diamond Press, I'm here for this company. Like they make such beautiful designs. They are so affordably priced um, and great quality. I've been really impressed with the things that I've gotten. So I'm going to definitely be on the lookout for this company and the things that they um, come out with. I'm looking forward to what they have coming out. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to share that because, oh my goodness, so pretty. I mean, these are quick cards. If you can just, you know, put this on a card base, put a sentiment, you're done. Because these are so beautiful in and of themselves. All right. So um, that is it for my haul. I mean, like, hello. <laughs> Do I need any more stuff? No, I don't. But how fun. How fun, fun, fun. So like I mentioned, I will try to link um, to as many of these, hopefully, that are available if you're interested. Um, again, none of these are affiliate links, nothing at all. I'm not trying to sell you anything. Um, I'm just sharing what I've bought lately that I'm so looking forward to playing with um, once, you know, when I get time on Saturdays. <laughs> So anyway, I hope you enjoyed and hopefully, um, actually, I hope to be back very soon with a craft room tour. So it's been, um, somebody emailed me about that too. And it's been eight years since my last craft room tour. So I figured, oh, you know, it's, I think it's time. I think it's time to show you my updated um, craft space. So that will be coming up next. So um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate those of you that have taken the time to email me just to see if I'm still around. And that's so, again, oh my goodness, that's just my heart, my heart. Anyway, um, I hope you're all safe. Stay safe. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye.